Herzlich willkommen zu Let's Play Genshin Impact. Wir machen direkt weiter, wo wir zuletzt aufgehört hatten. Sprechen mit Mr. Songli. After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon, Traveler, how does it feel to know that our Archon and Adepti are here all around you in Liyue? Okay, das ist jetzt eine schwierige Frage gleich am Anfang. Mir liegt mehr die Atmosphäre. Mehr die Atmosphäre Monster natürlich ist Leo besser. Ich ganz ehrlich, ich liebe so Song Lee, alleine vom Place daher und schon von der Stimme. Aber ich mag tatsächlich äh, Monster mehr. <lacht> I see. So you're that sort of person. It's not a bad thing. Das ist gut. But I suppose you have yet to experience the substance of Leo's 3700 years of divinity. Organizing the rite of parting should prove to be an enlightening part of your travels. Leo is the most prosperous of the seven nations, defended by deities and ruled by the Chising. As such, the diplomatic maneuverings of the Fatui have gained no purchase here. Ningguang of the Qixing has always been on her guard against the Fatui. That is in all likelihood why Child wants to make use of the Wangsheng funeral parlor's connections. Das ist wahrscheinlich wahr. Uh, what would Child get out of us doing the rite of parting anyway? I neither know nor do I wish to know. As far as I am concerned, the Fatui are merely financial sponsors. I only wish for Liu Wei's traditions to endure. These are the advanced funds that Child has provided. If you use them up, you can go to him to apply for any subsequent funding. Wow! Well then, let us be off. The first step in our preparations shall be to obtain some prize Noctilucus Jade worthy of a deity. Oh boy. Oh, da können wir ein Foto machen. Dann gehen wir zuerst hin. Sehr schön. Ja. Oh, hier gibt es noch einen Teleporter. Apropos, äh, hier müsste doch irgendwo, ja genau, das hier Adventure Geld. Ad Astra Abyss. Gut. Dann können wir jetzt, äh, Gott, wie war, wie war das nochmal? Äh, das Buch hier. Mission. Leber, genau. Okay. Nur ja, so. Dann hätten wir uns darum schon mal gekümmert. Na, dann machen wir mal. Welcome to the Jade Mystery, my good friends. Would you like to try your luck betting on Jade? This could be your lucky day. It's cheap and it's fun and who knows, you just might strike it rich. Did you hear call up us? No, no, we're here for... Um... What was it again? Nocta Lucas Jade, of Radiant Grade at the very least. Radiant Grade, Nocta Lucas Jade? I see, you're not a tourist. My apologies. I have some here for your perusal. What do you think? The Jade Mystery is an old name in the Jade business. Just look at that wonderful quality. Rex Lapis doesn't often bless us with such finery. Go on, pick whichever one you like. These three pieces really do look pretty. Not like the ones you usually dig up. But how do we pick? Should we just grab one and go? Oh, you want me to decide? That is fine as well. 
If it were me, the answer would be simple. Oh? And that would be... I'll take them all, boss. Oh, you act with such panache, good sir. I always knew you were not a man of ordinary caliber. Oh, wait, wait, boss. That one didn't count. We need to discuss it again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, if we only need one for the ritual, aren't we wasting three times the more if we buy them all? It's oh, really interesting. Mora. Hmm. It is as you say. I suppose I overlooked this particular aspect of the transaction. Huh? How do you not think about Mora when buying things? If one must always consider Mora before acting, then in all things one is bound by Mora. Uh, what? All Mora is currency, but not all currency is Mora. Er redet über Wirtschaft. Is this how the rich live? Well, he knows a lot about big money, but not a lot about big savings. No need to waver. Even when I am constrained by Mora, I have ways of working around my limitations. Evaluating the quality of Nocta Lucas Jade is indeed very tricky. As crude ore, there is little difference in texture, lustrousness, and internal pattern between good and bad jade. Only after the item made using Noctilucus jade has taken shape will you be able to see whether it is up to par or not. If you return to those crafty merchants to quibble, they will counter by saying that your crafting bench is to blame or that your heat control was poor. Whoa! To think it's that easy to get cheated. But there is a way to truly evaluate this jade. And a true insider would know it. A fool sees the pointer and misses the moon. What does that mean? If you point at the moon with your finger, a wise man knows that you are pointing at the moon. While a fool will only see the finger. The patterns. The facade. These are all the finger. Noctilucus Jade is a mystical stone used to light up the darkness. And so its brightness is the important thing. Ah. It is the moon. Noctilucus Jade of excellent quality would have superior pyro affinity. In other words, the bluer and brighter the luster of the ore under high temperature, the higher its quality. Also, wirklich Ahnung. So lebt sich also als gehobenen Kreisen. I have imparted the priceless secrets of the jade trade to you. Now, all that's left is to put it into practice. Priceless, huh? Hyman's just said that we might never be able to use it again. We're back to buy some rocks, boss. But can you let us burn them first? Burn them? You can't do that, my friends. If you were to do so, what would I have to sell? That would... well... fine. As you wish, then. How about this? I can take a small sample of all three. I'll take a bit of a loss. Uh, we'll count it as a friendly gesture. <laughs> Don't worry. I know the rules. As long as we can prove that it is good jade, you will not take a loss. All right, take these as samples. I've carved them off with a knife and tagged them to boot. Are these too thin? Even paper's thicker. No, even a bug's wings are thicker. These are almost see-through. Ihr war handwerkliches Könnenberg. <lacht> oh, you flattered me, but I have to be gentle with these rocks. They are my pride and joy. If I'd taken off even a bit more, it it would have killed me. But wouldn't something this thin go poof if we held it to the fire? It can't be helped. Trying to deprive a merchant of his profits would be like forcing a ravenous wolf to vomit up the food in its stomach. Nonetheless, under the right conditions, 
These thin slices will serve. What sort of conditions? While we add the high temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro to reinforce it from within. This way, the samples will not disintegrate immediately. Oh! <laughs> oh, sir, to think you were this learned. Thank you for your understanding. Strictly speaking, asking for samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair. Trade in Liyue must be based upon fairness. Well, guess we just need to find a place to try this out. Ich erinnere mich an die äh, Schlucht in Darpatura. Oh, Paima remembers. We once saw this big pot down at the Data Upa Gorge in the camp of the hilly churls from the Meaty tribe. It's real sturdy and should be able to take the elemental reactions. Now, let's pack those samples up and make a move. Wir dürfen jetzt nach Monstert, oder? Wir dürfen jetzt nach Monstert. <lacht> Ah. Der ist ja besser, oder? Juju! Dann wollen wir mal... It has been a long time since I last set foot in the Nation of Wind. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came to visit me in Liyue. It must be said that the famed liquor of the land of Pastorals is far better than Sumeru's frigid snake wine. Okay. I got you, homie. That's the pot! <sighs> it looks like the hilly trolls are still using it. It's a bit impolite, but we gotta cut the line! Jetzt ist das unser äh, Schal um den Suppentopf. Looks like it could be used as our hydro elemental protection. Let's fire it up and begin our experiment. We're ready to go. Paimon will help remember which one of the three is which. Use Pyro to keep making the pot hotter until we get the results we need. Ja. Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer the ore gets, the better it is. So, pay close attention. Whoa! That light came from the first knock to Lucas Jade! Uh, hilly trolls are surrounding us again! Were they attracted by the light? Such nosy neighbors! Let's take care of them and continue again after! That light came from the second knock to Lucas J, didn't it? More hilly trolls! They don't give up, do they? Looks like they're mad that we ruined their food! Fish! As a good knight should. I'll catch up. Let's light it up. I must leave no stone unturned. Oh God! Me merks bestimmt gar nicht, dass ich. Okay, das war jetzt schon ein Ticken peinlich.